الله الحمد لله الذي اضاف ما حميده جميع خلقه كما يحبه ويرضى سبحان الله وبحمده سبحان الله العظيم سبحانك لا علم لنا الا ما علمتنا انك انت العليم الحكيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني يفقهوا قولي اللهم اجعلنا دعاة اليك والى رسولك اما بعد فقد قال الله تعالى في كتابه الكريم اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يوم لا يخز الله النبي والذين امنوا معه نورهم يسعى بين ايديهم وبيمانهم يقولون يقولون ربنا اتمم لنا نورنا واغفر لنا انك على كل شيء قدير وقال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم من قال لا اله الا الله فقد دخل الجنه صدق الله العلي العظيم وصدق الرسول الكريم ونحن على ذلك من الشاهدين ومن الشاكرين والحمد لله رب العالمين اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان سيدنا ومولانا محمدا عبده ورسوله اما بعد all praises are for allah we testify that allah is one لا شريك له There is no associates to Allah. Allah has no partners. Lahul mulku wa lahul hamd. To Allah belongs the kingdom, kingship, ownership. To Allah belongs all praises. Yuhyi wa yumit. In his hands lies life and death. Wa huwa ala kulli shayin qadir. Allah has power and control over everything. He is Al-Qadir. Allah is the one who decrees. Allah his irada and his will is kun. Whatever he wants be fayakun. It happens, it becomes. We testify that Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the seal of Allah's prophets, the seal of the messengers. the last of all the prophets as-sadiq the truthful al-amin the most trustworthy rahmatu lil alamin mercy to the world we ask allah to convey our salat and salam upon him wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in a new day has dawned upon us sayyid al-ayyam the chief of all the days the best of all the days yawmul jumu'a it is on this day the quran the words of allah commands us ya ayyuhal ladina amanu o you who proclaim to have iman you testify to the oneness of allah you believe that allah is one you believe that muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the last this testimony O oh, you who have iman O oh, you who have borne this testimony idha nudi ali salati min yawm al jumu'a when the call is proclaimed on the day of friday the day of assembly fas aw ila dhikrillah he sent to the remembrance of allah wadharul bay leave of trade leave of traffic dhalikum khairul lakum that is best for you in kuntum ta'lamun if only you knew allah has accepted us allah has guided us to obey this command of his in the glorious quran we thank allah for the gift of iman the nur the light of iman that allah has placed within our hearts we thank allah for muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam the one who explained iman the one who explained quran the one who explained our deen al islam sallallahu alaihi wasallam how could we know how to pray 
The Quran says, Aqim as Salah, perform Salah, establish Salah. What is Salah? Salah has been explained by Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Quran did not explain how to pray Salah. The Quran says, Wa ita is zakah, give zakah. It never says how much zakah. The Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam have taught us. The Quran says, Fast in the month of Ramadan. When the month of Ramadan comes, we should fast. It did not say how to fast. Subhanallah. Without the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, this deen is left unexplained. He Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has taught us. Alhamdulillah, today, my dear brothers, my dear sisters, being the best of all days, it is a day when Allah will accept our du'as. It is the day that Allah created Adam alayhi salatu wasalam. It is the day that Allah brought him on the face of the earth. It is the very sad day that Allah took him out from the face of the earth. It is on this very sad day that the day of Qiyamah will occur upon. The day of Jummah. Friday. Let it be known that every single Friday, at Tuyur, the birds, Al Jibal, the mountain, As Sama, the skies, and Nujum, the stars, As Shams, the sun, Al Qamar, the moon, every creation of Allah, they seek protection of, from Allah in regards to this day. They fear this day. What about insan? What about mankind? It is very important for us to understand how the clock is ticking, how the time is going. The month of Jamadi Uthani is here. Half of the month has gone. With a twinkling of an eye, the month of Rajab will creep up. When the month of Rajab comes, the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he used to make dua, Allahumma barik lana fi Rajab wa Shaban wa balligna Ramadan. Make Rajab and Shaban blessed for us, O Allah, and prolong our lives to see the month of Ramadan. We are still in Jamal Uthani, preparations. Preparations for the coming and the entrance of the great month, the month of Ramadan. The month of Allah's Rahma, the month of Allah's mercy, the month of Allah's Maghfira, the month of Allah's forgiveness, the month of Itqun min al-Nar is emancipation from the fire of Jahannam. We must make dua and make preparation before the month approaches and reaches us. Allah, Allah Ta'ala, the one who recognizes our amal. Every little deed that we do is important. Every little deed that we do is significant in the sight of Allah. A simple assalamu alaikum can open the doors of Jannah. One salam to your brother. One salam to your wife. One salam to the husband. One salam to your mother, to your father, to your children. Enter in your home. One salam meeting your brother. One salam leaving your brother. This one salam. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Afshu salam abaynakum. Spread salams amongst yourself. Spread salams amongst yourself. Because he says, this very said salam is the key to Jannah. The salam is what brings love amongst the, the brotherhood. Salam. Just one salam, just a smile on the face of your brothers and sisters, it is enough to open the doors of Jannah. A smile. Can you imagine a woman who has done nothing good in her life? A woman has done nothing good in her life. She gives a panting dog some water to drink. A woman who is involved in illicit behavior, Immoral acts. One sip of water. Some of the commentators of this hadith, they have narrated, it is not only about the sip of water, but it was the effort and what she felt in her heart towards that animal. 
Even if the dog was not quenched by the, th the water, the effort that she made in taking her shoes, tearing her clothing, to send it down into that well to give this dog the water, that effort, Allah loved it so much. Maghfirat. Forgiveness. Forgiveness. Animals don't have to answer on the day of Qiyamah. What does a bird have to answer? What does a cat have to answer for? What does a dog have to answer for? Huh? Just coming into the mosque, a brush with me his foot, he said a dog bite him. A dog bite him on his foot. Probably tried to kick the dog. But that dog doesn't have to answer. But what about our treatment towards those animals? Would we have to answer? Of course we have to answer. We have to answer. Allah will take us to task. Because the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said it right. He says Allah's kindness towards his animals. Allah's kindness towards the creatures is more than a mother's kindness towards a baby. Ask anybody who just had a newborn. How they treat that newborn. How caring, how loving. How merciful, how compassionate. And imagine Allah's compassion towards his creatures now. Subhanallah. Today we recognize each other. Today we know each other. In this world sometimes, what it befits a man to be known by another man is your profession. Sometimes when you go to some place, sometimes when you meet somebody, you don't introduce yourself by a your name. You're introduced by your profession. The profession comes first. I am Dr. So-and-so. I am Imam So-and-so. I am Mufti So-and-so. I am Principal So-and-so. And we put the profession first. Because if you only talk about somebody, if you say, God is Shafir, people want to know who is Shafir. They are Paul Star and Avoy. They know that. They know the profession. The name is not really important. How we recognize each other. Today many people are passing away. Sometimes our brother say, you know that brother passed away. You're trying to figure out who is that brother? Who is that sister? Then they give you a description of what they do. And then you have an idea who is that person. The recognition. How does Allah recognize you and me? How does Allah recognize you and me? It is a question to be asked. It is this morsel of flesh that Allah has given to us between our jaws. Allah, he listens to this tongue. He listens to the speech of insan. The voice becomes familiar to the malaika. The voices become familiar to the angels. Allah listens to these voices. Allah, he is a sami, the one who is always listening. Whether we think it, he knows it. Whether we whisper, he hears it. This is Allah. He will recognize us by our voices when we call to him. How will the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam recognize you and me? How? We heard of the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that on the day of Qiyamah, when he will be standing at Hawthi Kawsar, we have heard it many times. He will be standing there to give for his ummati from his hands to drink from the fountain of Kawthar. People will be coming, people will be coming from his ummah. They will be coming, angels on two sides, lined up. They will be standing in Saf. And they will be coming to the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They will recognize that is my Nabi. He will recognize they are my Ummah. They are for my Ummah. The angels will say, one side. You, one side. Can't come forward. Another side, another side. He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is standing and he is calling out, Ummati, they are for my Ummah. They are for my Ummah. The, re the response to that will be, you did not know what they did after you left this world. You did not know what they did after you left this world. 
Imam Ahmad bin Hanbal, rahmatullah alayhi, from the great scholars of Islam, Allahu Akbar. Such a great scholar of Islam in his musnad, he have stated a hadith of the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He says that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentions that on the day of Qiyamah, he will recognize his ummah. He says, Inni la a'arifu ummati yawm al-qiyamati bayna al-umam. I will recognize my ummatis on the day of Qiyamah amongst all those other nations. How many nations from Adam, Nuh, Musa, Isa, Dawood, Sulaiman, you name it. All the prophets will come. All the prophets. Some with followers, some with no followers. So many people on the face of the earth. How many Muslims today? How many Muslims still to come? He says, I will recognize my ummah. Amongst all the other ummahs, I will recognize them. One Sahabi, he was shocked. He was amazed. He says, Ya Rasulullah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, wa kayfa ta'rifu ummatak? How will you recognize your ummah? So many people on the plains. Yawmul hashar, on the day of gathering. Subhanallah, how is, how is it you're going to recognize your ummah? Three things, said the Rasul, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He says, A'rifuhum. I will recognize them based on the fact that they will be given their book of deeds in their right hand. On their right hand. In regards to that one who is given his book of deeds in his right hand, Fayakul, he will say, Ha umukura u kitabia. Hey, hey, read, read my book. He's jumping with joy. Here's it, here's it, read. Inni wanantu anni mulakin hisabia. Why did I get this book in my right hand? How did this book appear in my right hand? Just like that? No. This is the suburb. This is the reason. Because in me, one on to anni mulakin hisabia. Because most certainly I had iman. I believed that one day I will be taken to account. One day I will have to give an account. I believe that. Because of that belief, because of that iman. That whatever I do now, my iman is saying I have to give an account. So what do I want to find in that book? What kind of amal I want to find in that book? What kind of deeds I want to find in that book? So that it will be given in my right hand. The belief of accountability. That is it. The belief of accountability will cause you and I to do acts of righteousness. To mash the pedal, the accelerator pedal, to do acts of righteousness. In I believe that I have to give an account to my Allah. I have to give an account to my Allah. Do we say it? Do we say it and our actions say differently? Or do we say it and our actions confirm what we are saying? This is the question. I, I believe I have to give an account. I will meet my book of deeds. I believe it. What am I going to meet? What? That when I speak, I lie. When I speak, I gossip. When I speak, I backbite. When I speak, I slander. Or when I speak, I only have good things to say. And if I have nothing good to say, I remain silent. What does my action prove? If this is the case, Allah says about that person, That person, he will have a life, well-pleasing, beautiful life, 
a life of pleasure. This is one of the ways the Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam is going to recognize his ummati on the day of Qiyamah. The book of deeds will be given in the right hand. In order for you to come here, Iman, we must believe that we will stand before Allah to give an account. And with that belief, we will start to do good things. So the angel on this right side, he will always be busy. Always be busy. People say that we have the angel on the left side busier than this right side. We have to change that. Don't give him too much work. Give the one on the right side all the work. The second way, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says, وَأَعْرِفُهُمْ بِسِيمَاهُمْ فِي وُجُوهِهِمْ مِنْ أَثَرِ السُّجُودِ I will recognize them on the day of Qiyamah. Their faces will be shining. Their faces will be radiant. Some faces on that day will be radiant. Beaming bright. In other, in other ayats of the Quran. Some faces on that day will be beaming. Bright. Subhanallah. Why? What, what is the reason for the brightness? Because of the prostration that they made to Allah. Prostration, salat, sujood, the thing that Allah loves so much that Allah commanded his angels to prostrate to Adam alayhi salam. Sujood, that when you read Quran, there are at least 14 places in the Quran that when you read a verse, you have to make sujood. Allah loves it. It is, the lowest a, it is the lowest a person can humble himself to Allah. But it is the highest we can reach. The highest posture. Allahu Akbar. Based on that sujood, the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will see the radiant faces, the shining faces, the beaming faces. There is no place in Islam for one who leaves out sijda. For one who leaves salat. Because the difference between a mukmin and a kafir is salah. Salah. How do we protect it? Hafizu ala salawatikum. Protect your salat. Protect your salat. Guard your salat. What does it mean? Don't put your salat second to anything. Salat must always be first. Because on the day of Qiyamah also, it will be the first thing that we have to give an account to Allah for. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, if it is good, then all your other actions will be treated in a like manner. It will follow suit. If it is not good, well, kapo smoke we pipe as they say. The third way says the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, how is it he is going to recognize us on the day of Qiyamah? وَعَارِفُهُمْ بِنُورِهِمْ يَسْعَى بَيْنَ أَيْدِهِمْ I will recognize them on the day of Qiyamah because their light will be running in front of them. Their light will be running in front of them. What light? And nurul iman their iman. The light of Iman. They put their Islam in front, so their Islam will be in front. The Islam, what caused them to put their Islam in front? The Iman, I believed. I believed. Today we say, Amanna, we believe. We believe. But my dear brothers, my dear sisters, our actions sometimes show otherwise. This is something we need to practice. Bring back and groove. We have to guard our tongues. We have to guard our eyes. We have to guard our ears. We have to guard our limbs and our bodies. We have to believe, but believe with action. Iman is an active word. It is an action word. It is a word where we have to do more than we have to say. It is easy for a person to say, I have Iman. 
But prove our iman to Allah. Prove our iman to ourselves. When it's time for salat, see if we put everything in front and then if we have time, then we pray. When it's time to give zakat, see how we zip up our pockets and we try to break the law. How to cut and paste, to not pay zakat. See when it's time for fasting in the month of Ramadan, how many people find excuses not to fast. See when it's time to perform Hajj, how many people find the excuse, I can't make that trip back. How many of us have start to put away some money, save, 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 with that iradat, with that niyat, with that intention that I want to go, I want to perform this pilgrimage. Anything that human wants to achieve in life, with the help of Allah, they will. With the help of Allah, they will. Determination, effort, they will. Allah has promised this. And even if they didn't do it, the niyat, the intention behind it, Allah is going to reward them for it. Subhanallah. But we have this as a sideline thing. We have that as a sideline thing. We don't even treat it as a pillar of Islam. Imagine if you take one post, one pillar off your house. See what is going to happen to your house. See what is going to happen. It's going to lean. If it's probably it might break down, it might fall. Why don't we treat the pillars of Islam with justice? Allah is going to question us about that. So we want to be recognized in this dunya that I am Imam so-and-so, I am so-and-so, I am so-and-so, and everybody know you anywhere you go, people know you. Anywhere we go, people recognize us. But those very sad people, when your mother sees you, when your father sees you, they know you, they recognize you. But on that day, they're going to run from you. A man is going to run from his brother. From his mother, from his father. From his wife, from his children. He's going to run from them. I don't know you, don't come here. I don't know you. Who is going to run to you? Who is going to recognize you? Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. One man. One man who is going to intercede before Allah for you and me. Allahu Akbar. My dear brothers, my dear sisters, let us fill our book of deeds with righteous actions. Righteous actions. Because our book of deeds can be full with bad things too. Let us try to fill it from this right side. Do good things. Sijda. Perform our five daily salats. We should be such servants of Allah that qaza salat should be a thing in the past. We don't know what is that. That is a foreign word, qaza. Past. We don't want to perform no salat qaza. All our salat must be performed on time. Don't delay. Don't delay. The Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says that salat is such a thing that there should be no procrastination with it. There should be no delay in salat. When time for salat comes, pray. Just like we hear when it's time to break the fast. People like that one. As it's time to break fast and the azan is sound, boom. Eat one time, drink one time. But as you hear the azan for salat, you're still busy. You're still busy doing everything, doing everything, doing everything. You're waiting for the Imam to start the first rakat. And then afterwards, you're going to come in and join. If you get join the last rakat. Why we don't treat it the same way? Why we don't treat it the same way? We're breaking fast as the azan call. But we are leaving what we're doing when we hear the azan fast salat. Yeah? That is a code. That is a calling. What it means? Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Whatever you're doing, whatever you're doing, Allah is greater than that. Leave it. Leave it. Come to Allah. Hayala Salah. Come to Allah's prayer. 
Hayal al falah. This is where your success is. Salat, sujood. And the third thing says the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He will recognize us by this light that will be running in front of us. Our iman. When we say La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, it means something. It means something. What it means? That everything about me, everything about me is behind. Islam is in front. My Islam has to come first. My Islam. Put that in front. And on the day of Qiyamah, we will find it. Yawma la yukzillahu nabiya walladheena amanu. On that day, Allah will not disgrace the Prophet and those who believe with him. Subhanallah. You will not be disgraced. What you will see happen? You will see the nur running in front of them. The light running in front of you. The light running in front of me. Our Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will say, this is my ummati. This is my ummati. Send them to me. Send them to me. May Allah give us the tawfiq and the ability to practice upon these words. May Allah help us to do those things that he like, those things that he love. We beg Allah to help us to continue on that journey towards the month of Ramadan in preparation for this great month. We beg Allah to keep us alive, to keep us safe, to continue to protect us. We beg Allah to give us what is good for us in this life and give us all the best things of the hereafter and to save us all from the torments of the hellfire. Well, Akhir Dawana and Alhamdulillah, Kirabbil Alameen.